Hi there everybody, it's UK Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a really cute and really fun card for you. So this is what we're going to be creating. It's using the Rhino from the Festive and Fun stamp set. So just a preview, this is the stamp set we're using. You've got four cute characters on here, all doing Christmas related bits and pieces, which is fun. And we're going to be using the DSP from the Joy of Noel suite. So I'd wanted to use that floral piece for ages. Um, and then when the card was finished, I was like, actually, you didn't use as much as it as you thought you were going to use. But it was so pretty that I wanted to use it, but it's also so busy. So that's why I'd only used a little bit. We're going to be using Memento for this project because we're going to be blending it. Yay! <laughs> so pop your stamp on a block, ink it up and just stamp it down on some scrap basic white. And then it's time to colour. So I'm using Smoky Slate Light and Dark for the Rhino. Okay, start with the dark on the edges and also on the ears and his um, horn, tusk, horn. Hmm, someone will correct me in the video below. But yes, colour him in. And I forgot his little hand, so I come back a bit later to do his hand. So his hand is actually holding that wreath, um, which is a beautiful wreath, and I quite liked it. But I totally forgot to do his hand, and later on when I go and colour the wreath, I notice. So if you're colouring along with me, don't forget to colour his hand. For his skates, I did them in the light uh, basic black. Now one of the things you were going to notice with this is I'm not blending blending. Um, I'm using just ones of pens at some points. So this is shaded spruce, light and dark and I'm just grabbing random bits on his scarf. So his scarf has actually got stripes on. I'm just grabbing random stripes, colouring those in exactly the same with a light shaded spruce. But then I'm only going to come in with a light sweet sorbet. Yes, it's sweet sorbet. Yes, it's more pinky than red, but I think it's really bright and I'm enjoying it for this Christmas. So I'm doing the bows on the presents with just the light as well. In fact, I don't use the dark at all for any of this project. I got it out, but I just decided that it was little colour in and I didn't want to blend. So now I'm using light just jade for, sorry, light sprayed spruce for the... Um, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Just jade. How many years ago was it we had that? I liked that colour. So that was light just jade. No, it wasn't. Light shaded spruce. Oh my goodness. So light sweet sorbet, light shaded spruce. This here is the SU900, which I'm just doing for the birds that's on the top. And I'm going to do it for the sledge in a little bit as well. And then I'm going to do Lost Lagoon on the Presence Light Lost Lagoon. There we go. We'll get all my greens in order. Once I've done that, I'm going to come in with Soft Sea Foam. I know you've seen me do this 100 times, but I wanted to get a bit more colour in it. So I'm going to go round the edge of the, um, of the image. And what I'm actually doing is I'm colouring well out because I didn't want to have streaks. So you'll see in a minute, that's where I noticed I missed his hand. <laughs> so you'll see in a minute that I fussy cut and leave a lot of this green on the card. Um, that's absolutely fine. I just wanted to make sure that every part of this image that I do cut was covered. Um, I did a video the other day with Joy and Noel and I went round it with wild wheat. Um, exactly the same, so there was no white showing when I fussy cut. But then when I fussy cut, I fussy cut outside the wild wheat at some places. So I had to go back later and add the colour, which is what I really didn't want to do here. So I just went straight out with the blending and then fussy cut inside. So I knew that I was definitely getting all of the soft sea foam. Fussy cut around them. Um, these are predominantly circles, so it's not that hard a fussy cut on this one. Um, but if you are fussy cutting, use towards the middle of the scissors. Don't use the tip, if you see what I mean. I'm doing it more towards the centre of where the blades are. And then I'm moving the paper more than the scissors. So my scissors are staying in the same sort of direction, moving the paper around and just doing light snips. It will make it a much smoother cut for you. And then you want your piece of basic white. So this is going to be the same size as your card base 
which is 14.8 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters and you're going to want some DSP now you'll notice here that I'm cutting this um, and my first cut was not right okay so my first cut was 13 centimeters by 9 centimeters which put it on there like a nice frame however I then decided I did want a chunk of this DSP at the back because I'm using this floral DSP for a reason. So I stuck that down and then when I stuck it down, it didn't quite feel right to then cover it up with so much grey. Okay, I wanted a chunk of that as a strip, so I cut the grey down again. Okay, so whereas it had been 9 centimetres by 13 centimetres, I chopped another bit off and still kept it as a rectangle, but I took it down to just under 12 centimetres and just over 8 centimetres. So it's that on the card a little bit more like that. Added an extra strip at the end. So this was the strip I'd cut off, that's that centimetre. I just added that on the end there so that it just created a bit of a frame of it, like a bookmark effect book end effect probably mm -hmm. and then I wanted some cardstock on this just to give it a little bit of extra color because it was looking a bit too plain for me so I've measured where I cut it and then I cut this half a centimeter more so this is just over 12 and a half centimeters by just over eight and a half centimeters and it sits on like that so that I ended up with a bigger piece again and covered up the paper again but at least it was with a different color so I thought that worked now I was just trying to use my Stampin' Seal Plus very lazily on the back of the cardstock there and you'll notice it pulled Stampin' Seal Plus works lovely on DSP it works really good when you're trying to do boxes and things with those and bags and it keeps the paper tight but it doesn't work as well with the cardstock it pulls it so you need to use normal seal or memento for that memento tombow how many things can I get wrong in a video? Right, let's pop this onto a block. Using your memento, you want to stamp that down. Now, I'm not going to use every part of this sentiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop around the words, okay? Now, you'll see that I'm doing this long enough to cover the length of the longest word in the whole stamp set, okay? So even if it's that of, I've still gone to the end of season. And I'm going to be missing out um one that's so one that's isn't going to feature in mind so it's may your season be one that's festive uh that's festive and fun i've took one that's out so it'll just be a slightly shorter sentiment to put on there and i'm just chopping my words out of the cardstock okay and i've gone quite close to them because I've gone quite close, it's going to be quite fiddly to get these stuck down. So you just want to use a little strip off the end of the dimensionals. So this is half of the dimensional edge. OK, measure it roughly and start cutting some of those out. And my tip here was the longer ones I didn't struggle with, but the shorter ones I really, really did. I couldn't pick them up. And if I could pick them up, I wasn't getting them the right way. So I used my take a pick tool, use that pick at the end pick them up within seconds it was really quick and easy to do the longer ones not so much of a problem but those shorter ones I was really struggling with so there's my tip for you get it on your take a pick tool so 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 simple it might look fiddly but trust me it was worth the effort why have one big sentiment when you could split it and put it all around the card in quite a fun way so first of all, I thought I was going to put this down the left of the card, but quickly changed my mind and put them down the right of the card. The one thing to remember when you're doing this is to get it in the order of what it should be. So um, I was trying to remember how it was said as I went through, and I still tried to put fun before festive. So the stamp set is festive and fun, and I thought I'll go with fun and festive. But fun had an explanation mark at the end of it, so I couldn't do that. So that's how, that's my little tip for you. Remember the stamp and you what going through. Then you can just stick this onto your card base to finish. Once I'd stuck it, I was exceedingly happy and was going to leave it. But then I decided to pop some uh, metallic enamel effects on because I'm using those on all my cards at the moment. I just think they take it to the next level. 
so some gold metallic enamel effects and pop those down the side. What do you think? Probably not as much of the DSP that I was hoping to show off, but I really love this card. It is so cute. Everything I've used is available from my store, slimandstylish.stampinup.net. If you do like it, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you around soon. Bye, everyone.